2015-2016 State Vice President, representing the Mid-State Region, serving as Treasurer from the York FFA Chapter, Thomas Wilkerson. Representing the PD region from the Mac B FFA, Blair Horton. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Your 2015-2016 State FFA President, representing the Piedmont Region, from the Pendleton FFA Chapter, Katie Martin. We have a motion and a second from the committee. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of accepting the committee report say aye. aye. Those opposed say nay. The motion to elect the committee's slate of state officers for the 2015-2016 year is carried. All right, Katie, come here. <laughs> Katie. As president-elect, you have been selected by your fellow members to be the leader of our association for the upcoming year. You are therefore responsible for guiding our association and all its worthy undertakings. May you work intelligently and seriously to fulfill the responsibilities of your office. Congratulations. Thank you. Blair. Um, excuse me, no, Thomas, sorry. <laughs> Vice President. As Vice President-elect, your record of accomplishments indicates that you have those qualities of leadership which we all should possess. You are to assist with the President in directing the work of our association, preside over meetings in the absence of her, or her absence, and keep all committee working effectively. Congratulations. Thank you. Blair. As Secretary-elect, you have been chosen to keep an accurate record of meeting, minutes of meetings and to carry out the association's correspondence. You should provide the association with the order of business and committee assignments for each meeting. You will also keep a list of members, a record of degrees and awards, and have custody of the Constitution and bylaws. Congratulations. Brandon, as Treasurer-elect, you have been placed in a position of trust. Your duties require you to keep an accurate record of receipts and disbursements and to provide regular financial reports. It is also your respons responsibility to assist in developing the association budget and maintaining sound financial practices. Congratulations. Candace. As reporter-elect, your duty is to inform the public about the FFA. You're expected to work closely with the news media, including state and national FFA publications. You should keep a record of photographs and articles published concerning the FFA and its members, and be responsible for compiling our FFA history. Congratulations. Kelly, as Sentinel-elect, your duties include welcoming our friends, caring for the meeting rooms and FFA equipment, and providing comfort for our members and quests. It is also your duty to assist in conducting meetings and ceremonies.
It is an honor to be an officer in the FFA. From time to time during the year, you may encounter difficult problems, but through cooperation, hard work, and dedication, you will succeed and the FFA will prosper. Do each of you accept the responsibilities of your office and will you do your best to uphold the ideals and principles of the FFA? If so, answer we do. I now declare you properly and duly installed in the respective office to which you were elected. May your year of service be marked by integrity, dedication, and a cooperative spirit. Seek harmony among your fellow officers and set high standards of leadership for all association members. Retiring officers, will you please direct the new officers to the elected stations? Except for Katie, you come here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our newly elected officer team asks you to please direct your attention to the center of the stage. You know, it's a great privilege. First of all, I want to thank our nominating committee for the hard job that they had. I uh, had an opportunity to spend some time with them this week and, uh, and all of our candidates. And I do want to tell you that all of our candidates, this was a tough, tough decision I know for them because uh, we had some outstanding candidates this year. And I want to congratulate those who will serve as office. And I will tell you that as our staff that works with these officers, we are thrilled to see a new team come on that we can have the opportunity to spend some time and get to know and we're excited about what the future holds but it also is a bittersweet time because we as we see this new group come in we must say goodbye to a group that we have gotten to know and really care for through this year so at this time what I would like to do is ask our 2014-15 state officer team to join me on stage And I think if you have enjoyed this convention, that this crowd deserves a huge round of applause. Now, I know right now they have a lot of things going through their mind. Uh, one is that uh, uh, they are, uh, there's a little bit of them that's relieved this is over because tonight they will sleep for the first time probably in a week and uh, they are just really going to deserve some well-deserved time uh, and rest. But I know also they are saddened to see that their term as your state officers come to an end. And that term began soon after this convention and they ran up on stage one year ago uh, with uh, immediately going into training at Blastoff. They went to NLCSO in Florida, I believe, this year. They attended uh, State Fair Day, the uh, Ag Tailgate at Clemson, National Convention, uh, plant presentation, you, uh, you, on and on. The visit, countless chapter visits, banquets, and they stayed very busy throughout the year. But I want to tell you that this group, and we've worked with a lot of groups. This group just represented you extremely, extremely well. This group worked together as a team. They handled all of the duties. And I had in my notes down here, they seldom complained, but I'm going to tell you that they never complained. This group is just really, or at least to us, uh, they really worked hard, and they were just such a pleasure to get to know and uh, to spend time with. And I just want to tell you, for your, the parents and advisors, we are so grateful that you shared them with us this year. And to all of you in the FFA, I want you to know that this group represented you extremely, extremely well. And we just have a token on behalf of the South Carolina FFA Association of appreciation that we would like to present to them in the form of a scholarship for their work and uh, hard work this year. So at this time, I would like to present each of them with the scholarship.
And I, I do want to add that I could spend another 30 minutes up here telling you stories about all of these, but I'm not because I think they have a few stories that they want to tell. So I'm going to turn it over to them at this time and let them tell you a little bit about their year. Oh, there, there it is. There it is. So, like Mr. Kill said, we, we started this year one year ago today, and it's crazy to think that it's already flown by. And we have gotten some amazing, funny, hilarious memories that we want to share with you. And I, I'll start. And some of you have already heard this story, um, but at NLCSO, <laughs> at NLCSO, was, we were getting there real late, me and Brent. And uh, so we were, you know, we wanted something to drink. We were real thirsty. And so we walked out to the truck. And first of all, we went out to the cooler. And it was like, you know, I was like, Rick, you got the cooler? He's like, yeah. It's like, all right. He's like, you want any help? No, I'm good. OK. So he goes, like, tipped out of the truck. And all of a sudden, a gush of water just froze all over. I'm like, I feel the ice. And it's already cold. I'm like, what are you? OK, whatever. So we get in the hotel. And we go there. Well, we got to get ice for the drinks. So of course, the cooler doesn't fit on the ice machine in the hotels. So I tell Brent go to our room, get our ice bucket, come back. He said, okay, easy task, easy task, can't mess it up. So I'm sitting there about 10 minutes. I'm like, where is this boy at? So I look down the hallway and see, see him coming. He just got just smiling. And I look in his hand, but that is not an ice bucket. He got this black thing. I said, what in the world is that? He's come walking. I said, Brent, I know you didn't bring a trash can to get the ice, man. He said, I couldn't find, I said, you know, a trash can? I said, you could at least got the bag or something. Like, for real? <laughs> so, like, so we went back and found the ice bucket and got some ice. But I was like, come, come on now. Like, Another story from NLCSO. Because we had a pretty good time that week. We were in Florida with the officer teams from North Carolina, Florida, and ours. One night we went to Dave and Buster's. And I don't know if any of y'all have ever been. And I know we don't have many around here. But it's like adult Chuck E. Cheese. So we just played games and ran around like children all night. But when we were leaving, um, we had driven two cars there because Mr. Cox and his wife and two others were in one car. And then all of us with, with, were with Mr. Cox and his van. And so on the way back, Ms. Cox decided she wanted to come back with us. And the other two that were with her were going to stay. Okay, well, there are six of us plus Mr. Cox. We're in a minivan. There's not much room when you have seven people. Yeah, seven people like this. You add Miss Cox, we had eight. There were seven seats. So I sat down between the two captain's chairs on the floor of the van. But I was safe because Deshaun and Paul so generously crossed their seat belts across the aisle in the car and fastened me in on both sides. So it was all safe. It's all good. Sorry, Mama, I didn't tell you that until much later. <laughs> so also from NLCSO, because like she said, this was a crazy week. Um, it's pretty much where we got to learn about each other. But all four of us boys had a genius idea that we were going to play football in the hotel room. I know what y'all are thinking. Y'all are state officers. Y'all don't need to be doing stuff like that. It was late. We were sleep deprived. It happens. But anyway, Paul come running at us, and I don't know what happened, but this man gets up, and he goes, guys, I got a problem. And we were like, Paul, what's your problem? He's like, I think my nose is bleeding. <laughs> and ain't nobody touched this man's nose. Like, it just started bleeding out of the middle of nowhere. Well, I have a story to add on to that story. We get a knock on the door after I go to the bathroom and put some toilet paper in my nose. So I get the bright idea to answer the door looking like a fool. And the North Carolina officers are like, hey, here's some chocolate cake. I guess it turned into velvet after a while. <laughs> but uh, my story is uh, we're at National Convention. And if anybody remembers the, what Anna, Anna Mink and them used to preach is you always have to storm before you really form. Well, we, we had a rough night. We were sleep deprived, and it just all came out. But what came of it was the funniest attempt to try to give Mr. Cox a heart attack. What we did was I took my tie. I put it on my head sideways. I was looking gangsta, you know what I mean? 
And uh, Hunter gets on top of me acting like, you know, he was beating me up, which everybody knows that's easy. <laughs> and then all the girls get prepared, and then we have Courtney run. Was it Courtney? Was it you, Courtney? It was Courtney run to Mr. Cox saying, Paul and Hunter are fighting. But Mr. Cox know that I would beat Hunter up in two seconds. <laughs> but that, like, that memory for me helped really put us all together. It helped kind of put our pieces into one giant puzzle. So one of the, my favorite memories from this year is probably losing everything that I have, but also getting hurt. So back to National Convention, uh, we, were, we decided to do airplanes. Many of you probably seen Hunter fly like an airplane around different buildings. But we decided, four guys, to run outside. It was raining and cold. Okay, Hunter's going to model the airplane. All right, this is how you run like an airplane. Right here, come on. There you go. So, so he's flying like an airplane. We're all running around, and I, I just sprint while flying like an airplane. Like I said, it's cold and it's wet, so the ground is like ice. Well, I, I slipped on something and fell and bust my knee. We had a big old split in my pants. You see these pants we're wearing? Well, we get two of those a year. I only have one now because the other one has a big split down the knee. And then my knee was bleeding, and it was bad, but from the, <laughs> Yeah, they didn't, they didn't see me. And I told them the story. I come back to the van. And they're like, what took you so long? I'm like, well, what happened was I kind of fell. They're like, you fell? Like, yeah, look at my knee. And it started bleeding. And they, they just laughed at me. And it was, it was pretty bad. But one of my favorite memories. So we've mentioned a couple times this week that Deshaun is very good at losing things. I mean, he just mentioned it itself. So we're at Blast Off, you know, two weeks after we were elected. Still getting to know each other. And we're getting ready for dinner. Fixing to go, go out to eat with all the campers. And we're like, where's Deshaun? And the boys were like, yeah, he was in there. He said he's coming. Homeboy over here could not find one of his shoes. He found the other one. He couldn't find one of them. <laughs> I don't know where he ended up finding it, but we were late to dinner. <laughs> but I think you're forgetting something, Deshaun. Oh, the briefcase. Briefcase, briefcase. I got you. I got you. <laughs> you the briefcase you all have been waiting for. Bits and videos. Here's the briefcase that, that we had for you from the video. Um, let's finally open up. Kimmy, Mr. Cox, is it okay if we open the briefcase? It's cool? Okay. So we're going to open it. Oh, it says goodbye. And it's the flash drive. So let me take this back there. We'll see what's on the flash drive, and I'll be right back. Don't be long. We know you get long. Don't get long. <laughs> It's been a long day without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again We've come a long way from where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you Why'd you have to leave so soon, yeah? Why'd you have to go? Why'd you have to leave me when I needed you the most? Cause I don't really know how to tell you Without feeling much worse I know you're in a better place But it's always gonna hurt Carry on It's been a long day without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again We've come a long way from where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again When I see you
I'll be waiting right here for you till the day you're home. Carry on, give me all the strength I need to carry on. It's been a long day without you, my friend, and I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see. You The planes we flew, good things we've been through. Then I'll be standing right here talking to you about another path. I know we love to hit the road and laugh, but something told me that it wouldn't last. Had to switch up, look at things different, see the bigger picture. Those were the days, hard work forever pays. Now I see you in a better place. See you in a better place. Ah. Uh. Can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side. And now you gon' be with me for the last it's ride. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. I see you again. We've come a long way, yeah, a long way. from where we began. You know we started. Oh, I'll tell you all about it. When I see you again Let me tell you When I see you again oh. First you both go out your way And the vibe is feeling strong And we're small Turn to a friendship A friendship turn to a Madam Secretary, do you have a record of any further business which should now be transacted? I have none, Madam President. Does any member know of any new or unfinished business which should now come before this meeting? We are about to adjourn the fourth and final general session of the 88th South Carolina FFA Convention. 
As we mingle with other, others, let us be diligent in labor, just in our dealing, courteous to everyone, and above all, fair in the game of life. Fellow FFA members and guests, please join me in a salute to our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I now declare this convention adjourned. <laughs>